Finally free to sell the books he wants, Lang Wing Key's new Causeway Bay Books is in a small space, but on the day it reopened was packed with well-wishers, including Hong Kong democracy supporters. The reopening of the store, of course, proves that Taiwan is a free and democratic place. We still have the right to read books, to have exchanges. I hope my friends from Hong Kong can all come here so that we can have exchanges and discussions on the future of Taiwan and Hong Kong. In terms of the situation Taiwan may be facing right now, we can use books to understand what we should do in the future. The 66 square meter store offers a wide range of books, including some that are banned in China, such as volumes on Chinese President Xi Jinping, Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement in 2019, and the situation in Tibet. Lang Wing Ki thanked Taiwan's government and people for helping him resurrect the store. Lam was arrested at the end of 2015 during a visit to Shenzhen City in China as part of a crackdown on Hong Kong bookstores that sold politically sensitive books. He was held for more than 400 days and later released on bail and allowed to return to the territory in June 2016 to retrieve a hard drive listing the bookstore's customers. Instead, Lam decided to go public, detailing how he was interrogated for months. His arrest and that of several other bookstore owners and staff sparked fears of Beijing's increasing encroachment on the former British colony's freedoms since its handover to Chinese rule in 1997. The Hong Kong bookstore formerly closed in August 2018. In April last year, Lam fled to Taiwan because he feared he could be extradited to China under a controversial extradition bill proposed by Hong Kong's government at that time. It has since been withdrawn, but Lam has said he no longer feels safe in the territory. While in Taiwan, Lam raised nearly 200,000 U.S. dollars through an online fundraising website late last year that enabled him to reopen the bookstore. However, he faced challenges just before the bookstore's opening. Earlier that week, Mr. Lam received a letter threatening legal action against him from a similarly named bookstore, which had only recently completed its business registration. He also received an online death threat and was splashed with red paint by two men as he ate breakfast at a cafe. Mr. Lam said these were attempts by China to stop him reopening his bookstore. Taiwan's Legislative Yuan speaker, Yu Xikun, also visited the bookstore on opening day. Mr. Lam's willingness to come to Taiwan to restart his business makes me feel very proud of Taiwan's democratic system, its respect for rule of law and human rights. President Tsai Ing-wen sent a congratulatory message and flowers. Mr. Lam described his bookstore as a place open for free souls and said Taiwan is the last bastion for the Hong Kong people, offering them shelter and hope.